Hi everybody, we are still continuing our first day here at um, Disney World for my spring birthday trip. Yay! I don't know what sort of chronology I'm going to use to actually put this video together, but we are at Disney Springs right now, and we haven't been to Disney Springs since the good old days of D-Quest, so I'm looking at this and hardly any of it looks familiar to me. I mean, they change so much so quickly. Um, of course, getting here is always a little bit difficult. There's direct bus service from the parks after 4 p.m., but you can't take a bus to go back to the park. So, yeah, they don't make it super easy. We're going to do the Edison tonight, see some steampunk things. We're going to eat at some place, I don't know. But um, Squeaky will keep me um, on the straight and narrow there. And we're going to try to do the Star Wars VR experience, which obviously I wouldn't be able to record. But yeah, we are here at Disney Springs, and I'm going to try to showcase how uh, different everything is since the last time I've been here, which, my goodness, almost everything is different. Beagle. One note on this Commodore Plus 4 will send you to a faraway land. Here we are at another part of Disney Springs that I'm not sure what it is. We um, just did the void and that wasn't too good, but we're getting ready to eat at the Edison now, the newly opened Edison. I don't know what sort of food they have. Um, hopefully they have something that I would like, kind of like, but who knows. So yeah, it's um, been kind of crazy. The sun's been baking us a little bit. I'm making a mess at the Edison. Woo! So here we are at the Edison. I wonder what kind of food they have. Hopefully there's at least something I like. Probably not. I think Squeak do. Um, <laughs> ah, it's all good. Okay, the plan was that we would go to Pizza Ponte and then this for dessert, but time ran out after Star Wars. Which wasn't all that good, you know? The Star Wars thing, it it was really expensive. It's like 35 oh bucks God, a person. Did you feel like really sick when they first put the thing on you? No, I didn't. Did you? Oh my God, I could have like passed out or thrown up or something. Oh really? And like I never get motion sickness. Interesting. I didn't have that problem. I had the problem of it being out of focus, which if you're doing a VR thing and it's out of focus, you probably should stop. And I mean, the thing was really, really glitchy. I kept banging into Squeaky's backpack. It you know, if you're at Disney Springs, don't do the Star Wars VR experience. Just for the yeah, it, it's a mess. The technology is a total glitch. It, they just aren't ready for it. It's way overpriced, and um, it, it maybe future they'll get a update like or something. That it was a Rogue One story line. And it was a Rogue One storyline, and that movie was terrible. It so was amazing. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, so avoid the Star Wars VR experience for now at Disney Springs. Wait until there are updates to improve this. So here we are at the Edison, and this is what the um, lower floor looks like. So we arrived, and then they took us down an elevator to the lower floor here. Um, they do have a vegan burger. It's not, like, officially on the menu. The actual food menu doesn't really do a whole lot. It's not, like, filled with food. It, this is definitely seems to be more of a, 
like drinking sort of establishment. We got a nice silent movie entertainment here. Um, I think by 10 o'clock, this whole lower floor turns into a nightclub dancing sort of place, but um, we got up at about four in the morning to catch a crazy early flight, and it's so weird, from uh, Cincinnati, it was frost this morning, and today the sun has murdered me. I mean, my goodness, I've been to some pretty warm places in my day, and the sun was just particularly intense today, and I was not really planning on it or expecting it, and it was dapper day, so I was dressed all dapper and warm, but it's been a pretty good first day. Um, I don't know what on earth chronology you guys are actually going to be seeing this in. Uh, I'll figure something out. It, it's cool. My loyal fans are the best fans of any YouTuber in the entire world, so you know, you guys like everything I do and you support me no matter what, and I love you guys for that. It's trying to get new subscribers that is always a challenge but uh, chances are that's not going to happen anyway but anyway we're here at the edison and i'll check back with you once we get our grub on apparently my mom used to have um sinks like this uh, when she used to work for that publisher that um, would sell Veggie Tales. Um, I mentioned that in the Gameway video, but my mom used to work for one of the publishers, and this is kind of back around by the restroom here at the Edison. They play a lot of 20s jazz music. It's fine, but I just wish they would have, like, went there. You guys probably can't see, but something to mess with here. I mean, you'll be able to see better if I actually know how to point the camera at things. But yeah, the Edison. So far, I do like it. A little bit difficult to see, but here's our food at the Edison. I got a veggie burger. Looks like there's some fried onions. Yeah, they call it the Impossible Burger. Squeaky guy. Thank you. And Rami got grilled cheese with fries. Okay, yeah. So I'll let you guys know um, what this um, is going to be tasting like. Yeah, it looks like something, don't it? So it looks like maybe something, something's coming off on it, but um, we're going to go ahead and try the first bite of the Impossible Burger here at the Edison. It's a burger. It's impossible. I feel like I should put some like ketchup or mustard on it though. I might ask if they have like ketchup or mustard. Yeah, I have a little ketchup. I do have a little bit of ketchup. But yeah, some mustard would make this thing really good. Yeah. That's it, probably what the garlic aioli was for. Yeah, and I asked for no garlic aioli because I'm the world's darkest Hufflepuff and you know the garlic would have um, burned my soul. And I got crumbs in my beard apparently. See YouTube, don't you glad you aren't you glad you follow a guy like this? So here we are at the Edison. We got our desserts here. This is, I think it's called the Casey Apple Cobbler, um, Apple Cobbler, and ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I got the key lime brulee. Key lime brulee, very good. I got a banana split. And I was kind of afraid of it, like that it would be gigantic. And it is big, but I think I can manage. I think I can pull this off. Woo, Nelly. They don't get around when they feed you here, man. 